What's up guys, this is Bam Black Ops giving you a little update real quick on the achievements for the new Resurrection map pack, which of course is a zombie only map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops. If you guys don't know, this is not going to have any multiplayer maps in it this time. It's only going to be a brand new map called Moon for zombies, as well as all of the uh, zombie maps that came with World at War through uh, when you first got the game World at War and all the DLCs for World at War. So it's pretty cool. Of course, it's the normal $15. Uh, and it's coming out on Xbox Live first, but of course, if you purchased Hardened or Prestige Edition of Call of Duty Black Ops, this is absolutely free. So that's actually a pretty cool little extra gift that they're giving us. Anyway, the achievements, real quick, let's go down them. First off, on the top, we have Secret for 100. Now, this isn't confirmed or unconfirmed. We're a little unsure about the Secret one. We think that there may be one uh, worth 100 points, and uh, what it is, obviously, it's a Secret, so we have to figure out ourselves. And we'll find out tomorrow right away whether there is a secret achievement or not uh, because you'll be able to see when you pop up your achievement list you'll see secret and it's there or not some places are saying that you that there is 150 points worth of achievements in this new map pack others are saying that there's 250 so if there is 250 then there's a secret one worth 100 if it's only going to give you 150 points then there is no secret one under the next one we have one giant leap which is in Moon, become trapped in the receiving area and free yourself through resurrection in co-op. What does this mean? I have no idea. Become trapped in the receiving area. There's obviously a certain area of the game. There's different um, level, different spots in the, in the level that gives you um, less gravity so you can jump really high. So maybe something like that and um, you'll have to be uh, resurrected. So what's resurrected? Is that the same thing as just being revived and they're just changing the word for this one? I'm not sure. We'll see what it, get, what it is. Uh, the next one is ground control and moon prevent each ex excavator from breaching the base in one game. Well, I can't even talk. So uh, there's going to be a character, I guess, called the excavator, from, uh, and he's going to try to breach the base. Uh, and I guess in the entire thing, we have to prevent every single one that comes through. Uh, and we have to try to stop them from breaching inside. Again, a little hard to tell what's going on here. Of course, from the videos, we only see like little details here and there. Nothing really helpful, so... Before we play this game, a lot of the times the achievements for the zombies are really confusing because we don't know what's going on. Next one is one small hack for a man and moon hack something. What is hacking in this game? We'll see. It's only worth five, so I'm guessing this is going to be a very simple one to do. It just must be something, uh, maybe a way to um, open a door, maybe a way to um, set a trap for zombies behind you. Whatever it may be, it looks like it's going to be very simple and it looks like one of those things that we're just going to be able to easily get just through playing the game like you normally would. Uh, fully armed and operational. In Moon, acquire three pack-a-punched weapons at the same time. Wow. Okay, this is a little bit confusing. Um, some say that there is a way that you can get three guns in this one, in this game, in this map. So you can have three different guns at once, which would be pretty cool. Um, I know that there's a glitch that did that once, uh, and I guess some other people talk about a perk being able to do that. So we'll see. Um, but even if that's the case, uh, it, maybe there'll be a brand new pack-a-punch machine that allows us to pack-punch things uh, multiple times at once. Um, if it's going to be a timed pack-a-punch, so you can go up there and you can press, you can pack-a-punch it real quick and then leave. Um, if that's the case, then uh, it seems like it's going to be kind of hard to even get three in at one time. I know on previous maps, you'll get uh, kicked out of the, of the area where the pack-a-punch machine is before you even have a chance to um, possibly get a third one, unless you do it really fast. Maybe you can get this with multiple people. Maybe you have to do it by yourself. Um, we'll figure out that. It's going to be a little bit confusing. Also, it's going to be a lot of points because uh, pack-a-punching is worth 5,000, so... You have to have a pretty one, uh, pretty 15,000 points uh, just to get this achievement. So it's not going to be real easy. Perks in space. In Moon, purchase every perk in one game. This is going to be a fun one to get. Uh, there are probably well, quite a few perks. There may be a couple new ones as well. Sometimes they introduce a new perk for um, a different map when it comes out. But as far as I know... There are probably going to be six, seven, maybe eight altogether, so it's going to be a lot of fun to try to get all of those. And of course, this last one, in Moon, complete Rick Toffin's grand scheme. And of course, this is going to be the final Easter egg, and of course, again, I keep saying of course. Uh, I will have it as well as Swaggers, GameGuideCentral.com. We're going to be able to try to put this stuff up as quick as we possibly can. Um, we were probably among the first uh, to do the previous one in um in uh shangri-la we probably we got it pretty much within the first 10 hours of anybody finding it out and then um the other one before that it took us a little while to actually get it but we found out how to do it um and then we just kind of messed up a bunch of things so we're actually finding these out very very quickly uh i think it took us uh, only the second day of the of the um shangri-la for uh, us to get the achievement the easter egg one 
anyway thanks so much for watching guys i know i haven't had a lot of content lately that's because there's been barely any games but um from here from pretty much now um when i start doing the um, moon level and then all the way until december i'm going to be covering eight to ten games almost one every single week and then there'll be a little week break here and there um and that those will be able to be xbox 360 nintendo wii and possibly 3ds as well but i'm not entirely sure about that one but definitely i'll be covering games like batman arkham asylum or arkham city excuse me arkham asylum was a great game i'm really excited for arkham city um what else am i going to be covering let me see um pretty much from tomorrow on i'll do the black ops map pack uh august 30th i may be doing madden 12 September 6th, I may be doing Dead Island Driver or Resistance 3. I have to pick one of those or none of those. That's one of those weird weeks because it's going to be busy for me. September 13th, I may do NHL 12. October 4th, maybe Rage, Spider-Man, or NBA 2K12. October 18th, will be Batman Arkham City. Uh, October 25th, Battlefield 3. Uh, November 8th, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, and then November 15th, Halo Anniversary. And November 20th, Zelda Wii. And uh, some of those games that I didn't mention, Swaggers will be co covering, like Skyrim, he may be doing that one. Uh, and Assassin's Creed, I think he'll be covering that one as well. So we're going to be trying to get many, if not all, of the big, big, big time titles throughout here until December. Because it gets really busy this time of year. So stay tuned, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully we'll be able to get these achievements for the moon level very quickly. And I'll see you guys later.